Unit 1 Part 2 Yes 7. Conversation How's it going? Look at the picture here What do you see? Hmm. Young man Young lady This is Sun Hee She's from Korea Her name is Sun Hee David Garza Yes Where are they? They are in the street Yes And we have here what? Trees Buildings Building A building Another building Maybe they are in their way to the university or college. Let's start to listen. Page 5, Exercise 7, Conversation. How's it going? Listen and practice. Hey, David. How's it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure. Let's go. Now, let's start to read. Sunny? And David. Okay. Hey, David. How's it going? How's it going? How are you? Fine. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. How are you? Pretty. Pretty good. Pretty? Very. Pretty good? Very good. So, are your classes interesting? Interesting? Exciting. Very nice. This semester, semester in this term, term. Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry, science. Chemistry. Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't. My class in the morning, her class in the afternoon. Take care here, we see what? The, the afternoon. Listen, listen, tea silent, listen. I'm on my way to the cafeteria. I am going to the cafeteria. Are you free? Free here means not busy. Sure, sure, I am free. Let's go, so let's go to the cafeteria. Now let's answer some question. Yes, so how is David... How is he? He's fine. How is son he? Pretty good. Are David classes interesting? Yes, they are. Why? Because he loves chemistry. Are David and Beth in the same class? Are David and Beth in the same class? No, they're not. David's class is in the morning. Bess's class in the afternoon. Where is Sunhee going? Where is she going? She's going to the cafeteria. Is David free now or busy? David is free. So, David and Sunhee are going to the cafeteria. Where are they going? They are going to the cafeteria. Exercise number 8. Exercise number 8. Grammar focus. In this exercise, we'll have yes, no, and yes, no questions, and short answers with verb to be. You know verb to be? Verb to be said am, is, are. Let's start to listen. Page 5, Exercise 8, Grammar Focus. Yes, no questions and short answers with B. Are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. 
Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he isn't. Is Beth's class in the morning? Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it isn't. Are you and Beth in the same class? Yes, we are. No, we're not. No, we aren't. Are your classes interesting? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Now we'll listen to Grammar Focus 8. Are you free? Sue so said. Are you free? Are you? Plus adjective or job. Like, are you a teacher? Yes, I am. Are you busy? No, I am not. Are you free? Yes, I am. Is David? Is he? Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. Okay. Is Adil Imam from Mexico? No, he's not. He's Egyptian. Is this his class in the morning? Yes, it is. Or no, it's not. Are you and Beth in the same class? Yes, we are. No, we're not. No, we aren't. Are your classes interesting, interesting, exciting, wonderful, nice? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, no, they aren't. Okay, so today the grammar is a question, a yes, no question, and a short answer. In the question, we use be first, next the subject. For example, are you from Italy? And the short answer, yes, I am. The subject and be. Or are you from the United States? No, I'm not. So let's review the subjects and be. For example, I am. He is. She is. It is. Remember, it is for one thing. You are. You can be for one person or two people when we talk directly to people. They are for people and for multiple things and we are when we are a part of a group very good so the question and the short answer what is the verb to be for example Am I from Italy? Yes, you are. Am I from Mexico? No, you are not. Or, with contractions, no, you're not. Or, no, you aren't. Very good. The question Is your friend from Italy? Now, your friend is one person. So we can say yes, he, or yes, she is. Because one person is he or she. 
Again, is your friend from Mexico? No, he or no, she is not. Or with contractions, no, he's not, no, she's not, or no, she isn't, or no, he isn't. Very good. The question is Florence a nice city? Yes, it is. So remember, Florence is the subject, and Florence is one thing. So in the short answer, we use it for the subject because it represents Florence, one thing. Very good. Again, is your first language English? No, it is not. Again, your first language or a language is one thing. So for the short answer, we use it because it is for one thing. No, it is not. Or with contractions, no, it's not. Or, no, it isn't. But remember, when we ask a question about one thing, we use it for the short answer. Very good. Okay, the question. Are your parents from Italy? Yes, they are. Remember, your parents is plural. It's two people. So, in the short answer, we use they for the subject because it's two or more people. Again, are your parents from Mexico? No, they are not. Or with contractions, no, they're not. Or no, they aren't. Very good. Okay, and the question. Are you and your family close? Yes, we are. Remember, a question about you and other people, in the short answer, we use we to talk about I and other people. Again, are you and your family from Rome? No, we are not. Or with contractions? No, we're not. Oh, no, we aren't. No, we aren't. Very good. Okay, now time for statements. Example, where are you from? The statement, I am from Italy, or I'm from Italy. But a negative statement is be and not. For example, are you Mexican? No. I'm not from Mexico. Okay, now it's time to practice. Are you from Mexico? No, I'm not from Mexico.
Am I late for the party? No. You're not late. Is Florence very big? No. It's not very big. Is your mom from Rome? No. She's not from Rome. Is your dad from Rome? No. He's not from Rome. Are your parents from Mexico? No. They're not from Mexico. Are you all from here? No. We're not from here. Okay, so now you know how to make negative statements and yes no questions with the verb be. So, thanks for watching and good luck. Is Ms. Gray from the United States? Yes. Yes, she is. She is from Chicago. Number two. English class, it means what it. So it take is is. Is it your English class? Is your is your English class at ten o'clock? No. No, it's not. It's at eleven o'clock. Three. You and Monique. It means two, okay? Are plural. Are you and Monique from France? Yes, we are. We are from Paris. Mr. and Mrs. Tavares, too. Are Mr. and Mrs. Tavares American? No, they're not. They are Brazilian. They are Brazilian. Number B, answer these questions about yourself. If you answer no, give the correct information. Then ask your partner the questions. Here you answer the question about yourself. Are you from the United States? Are you American? No, I am not. No, I am not. Is your teacher from Canada? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Is your English class in the morning? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Are you and your best friend the same age? Yes, we are. So, you, we. Yes, we are. Exercise number nine. Word power. Hello and goodbye. Yes. Look at the picture here. Two friends. They're shaking hands. They're meeting each other. They say, Hello. This picture here. What do you see? School bus. Trees. Young lady. Maybe her son. In the, in the school bus. And she's a mother. So she says, Goodbye. Goodbye, my son. Goodbye, my son. Hello and goodbye. Do you know these expressions? Which ones are hellos and which ones are goodbyes? Complete the chart. Add expressions of your own. Here you put these words in hello or goodbye. You will complete from this list. Hello. Hey. Hi. Good morning. How are you? How's it going? 
again hello hey hi good morning how are you how's it going this means hello goodbye <laughs> bye goodbye good night see you later see you tomorrow see you take care so long also means goodbye see you take care so long Have a good day. Hello and goodbye. This is exercise number nine. Hello and goodbye. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night. Have a good day. How are you? All of this means hello. How's it going? Let's say goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. See you later. See you tomorrow. Bye. Goodbye. See you later. See you tomorrow. B. Match the greeting with the best response. You will match here the greeting with the answer with the best answer with the best reply one have a good day thank you you too number two hi how are you d pretty good thanks three see you tomorrow some Americans they say see you tomorrow. See, okay, see you. Four, good morning. A, good morning. Again, the answer number one, B. Number two, D. Number three, C. Number four, A. C, pair work. Practicing, practice saying hello, then practice saying goodbye. Hi, Aki. How's it going? Pretty good, thanks. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Word power. Here, we have the word What's up? What's up? Hello. What's up? Hello. Okay? This is an extra. Also in exercise number B. What's up? Oh, not much. What's up? Oh, not much. 3A. This is in fourth edition. Exercise 10. Listening. Let's start to listen. In this exercise, you will write the first name, last name, family name, where from, the country. Page 6, exercise 10, listening. What's your last name again? Listen to the conversations. Complete the information about each person. 1. Chris, this is my friend Lucy. We're in the same English class. Hi, Lucy. I'm Christopher Olson, but everyone calls me Chris. Nice to meet you, Chris. What's your last name again? It's Olson. O-L-S-E-N. And where are you from, Chris? I'm from here, the United States, originally from Los Angeles. Wow. How do you like Los Angeles? Oh, I love it. It's my favorite city. What's his first name? His first name, Christopher. Everyone calls him Chris. First name, Chris. Last name, 
Olsen. O L S E N. Where is Chris from? He's from the United States. He's from Los Angeles, LA. Number one, Chris. Olsen. The United States, the USA. Two. Two. Okay, Ms. Sanchez, let me just check this information. Is your first name spelled I S A B E L? No, it's not. My first name is Isabella. It's spelled I S A B E L A. Okay, thanks. And you're from Argentina, right? <laughs> no. I'm not from Argentina. I'm from Mexico. Oh, sorry, Mexico. But you are studying English. Actually, I'm not. I'm a business student. Business. Okay. Got it. Number two. First name, Isabella. How do you spell Isabella? I S A B E L A Isabella Last name Sanchez Isabella Last name Sanchez Where from? Mexico She is from Mexico Is she studying English? No, she is not She is a business student She is studying business Three, men who? Three, excuse me, are you He Young Kim? Yes, I am. Is your brother Min Ho Kim? Yes, he is. Tell me, is Min Ho still here at the university? No, he's not. He's at home in South Korea. Oh, he's in South Korea? Is he in school there? Yeah, he's at Seoul University this semester. First name, Men Hu. Last name, Kim. Men Hu Kim. K I M. Where from country? South South Korea. South Korea. Twelve reading. This passage is about names. The passage is about names. Probably, maybe, part, part and parcel, identity, ID. Popular, famous, famous, opposite and popular, famous, known, known, case silent, character, personality, As athletes, sportive persons, person who practice sport, positive, negative, positive, good, negative, bad, Agree, accept, opposite, disagree, feel, opinion, point of view, common, popular, common, British, American, common, popular, recent, modern, survey, questionnaire, Average, typical, and usual. Creative, creative, producing unusual ideas, having new ideas. 
good looking, smart, athletic, sportive, nerdy, disapproving, bad opinion. Bad opinion of okay, nerdy, disapproving, bad opinion of someone. Serious, careless, old-fashioned, old, independent, opposite, dependent. Adventures, like adventures, ordinary, 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 British, American, ordinary, usual, extraordinary, extraordinary, super. Take it here, it's not extraordinary, no, etc. Extraordinary, super, intelligent, smart, reason, cause, tradition, custom, habit. Positive, negative. Thanks, God. What's in a name? Does the name mean something? What's in a name? Look at the names. Look at the names in the article. Article is say. Do you know any people with these names? What are they like? From the name, you can know the country, religion, culture. If I said Ahmed, hello, my name is Ahmed. So Ahmed is what Egyptian or uh, Arabic name? Maybe Muslim. Okay, you know religion also from the name. You can know the place. If I said Sandra, Sandra. So this name is what not Egyptian. Let's start to read. Your name is very important. Name is very, very important. When you think of yourself, you probably, probably think of your name first. So the first thing you think is about your name. It's an important part of your identity. Identity, ID. So name is very important part of your character, of your personality. Right now, the two most popular names, the two most famous names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. The most famous names in the USA, Jacob, Jacob for boys, Emily for girls. Why are these names popular? Why are these names famous? Why? And why are some names unpopular? Unpopular, not famous. Why some names are famous and other names aren't famous, are not famous? Names can become popular. Names can become famous because of famous actors, TV or book characters or athletes. The name names can become famous because maybe famous actors like uh, the name Muhannad. Muhannad in Egypt becomes the famous. Besab al uh, actors like uh, okay Adil Imam, Ismail Yasin, for example. Television or book characters. A book character or television character, someone who's famous on TV. Athletes, athlete, someone who practices sport. Shikabela, Messi, Abu Trika. Popular names, famous names, suggest very positive things. When you listen to famous name, this is what, this gives you a good impression, good thing in your mind. Unpopular names and popular names suggest negative things. Famous, the names which are not famous, you think about negative things like surprisingly, this is surprise. People generally agree on the way they feel about names. People have the same feeling about the name, like the name of Mikhemer. This is 
very bad name and when you say for example Ibrahim Muhammad Hamada Midu here are some common opinions about names from a recent survey we we'll give you here some opinions about the names in very modern questionnaire boys names we have George average ordinary name boring Jacob Jacob creative creative having new ideas making new ideas friendly Michael good looking a solidic a solidic practice sport Stanley nerdy <coughs> nerdy smart but without good social skills serious girls names very old-fashioned average very old name ordinary Emily independent adventures someone who likes risk adventures independent depend on herself only Jane plain ordinary ordinary name Nicole beautiful intelligent so why do parents give their children unpopular names why the father and mother name give names to their children which are not famous not famous names why the biggest reason is tradition because of tradition habit customs many people are named after a family member some people who give them the name of family member like the name of the grandfather grandmother uncle of course opinions can change over time yes a name that's unpopular now might become popular in the future the name which is not famous maybe the name is not famous not famous now become famous in the future like the name Fazia Fazia this is uh, not famous name but if you watch Al Kabir Awi Fazia Fizu it becomes famous in Egypt now that's good news for all the George for all the Georges for all the Georges and Biddies out there this is good news for the not famous for the unpopular names such as Pity and George George and Pity maybe in the future they will become very famous now read the article then check through the statement that are true let's start to answer your name is part of your identity hmm. true or false number one true People often feel the same way about a particular name. People, they have the same feeling about a certain name. Hmm. This is what true. Boy, boys' names are more popular than girls' names. False. Because we have famous names, popular names, for boys and girls. So number three, false. Four. People are often named after family member. Okay. Number four. People are often named after family members. True. Five. Opinions about names can change. True. According to the article, part B, according to the article, which names suggest positive things? Which which suggest negative things? Complete the chart. Positive things, good things. Positive names, good names. Negative names, bad names. Yes. Or yes. Positive things. Hmm. Positive names. We have what? Jacob. Emily. Jacob, Emily, Michael, 
Nicole. Negative names George, Betty, Stanley, Jane. Number C, pair work. What names are popular? What names are famous in your country? Why are they popular? Why are they famous? Famous names like Zuel, Ahmed Zuel, very famous new name. Zuel is a very famous name. Shikabala, Messi, Muhammad, Ibrahim, Han, Gergis, Suwiras, Ahmed Bahdi. Why are they popular? They're popular because they're successful people. Maybe successful businessmen, successful athletes, successful footballer. Seven. Term. Semester. Unwaiti. Gangti. Free. Not busy. Busy. Not free. How are you? How's it going? I'm okay. Not bad. Fine. I'm very well. Thank you. Sa, sa, thank you, TH. Exercise 9. Hello. Hey. Hi. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night. Goodbye. So long. See you. See you later. Took you later. Have a nice day. Interesting. E silent. 12. Exercise 12. Popular. Famous. Opinion. Point of view. Survey. Questionnaire. Identity. ID. Probably. Maybe. Probably or probably. No. Key silent. Key silent. Average. Like everybody else. Creative. T soft D. Creative. Creative T soft D. Making new ideas. Acidic. Good at sport. Nerdy. Smart. But without good social skills. Smart. Intelligent. Social skills. Old fashioned. Not modern. Modern. New. Independent. Able to do things without help. Able to. Common. General. British. Common. American. Common. O. A. Common. Let's stop here.